A lacrosse is the fastest game on two feet. Hand-eye coordination is really important. Endurance, uh, being physical, that stuff's all important. But it's also a unique sport where, like, you're you benefit from being really big if you play, you know, if you play football, and you benefit from being really tall if you play basketball. And some of the best lacrosse players in the world are not the people you'd think if you looked at them. Um, determination, your will, uh, that kind of stuff is almost more important than your physical. Uh, you know abilities. My name is Kevin Flynn. I'm the head coach of the University of Montana men's lacrosse team. The one double A cutoff is a little ambiguous for us in lacrosse. There's no division double A for lacrosse. Uh, you know we were 33 and 0 in conference in three years in Division Two and. We wanted to be challenged more. We got our program to a place where we wanted, we felt comfortable moving up. You know, we did early on. We did what we needed to do to get, make sure we weren't eliminated for the rest of the year. Uh, we won enough games at the start to keep us in it. In the MCLA, we have 220 teams, and I'd say. 98% of them are, you know, almost entirely in-state players. We have one in-state player, um, and you know, the rare thing for them is to have out-of-state guys. We don't have that luxury, you know. We know we don't have it, so we go looking for kids out of state. And mostly, we've been fortunate through word of mouth. We've got probably 13 guys on our team right now that have transferred um, to come play lacrosse here. My name is Tucker Alling Sargent the first. The people I live with and spend most of the time with are from the lacrosse team. And that is because we have a common interest in lacrosse and we also have a common interest in stuff outside of lacrosse. Will, Jake, and I have grown up together, went to high school together, and now play lacrosse at the University of Montana together. I believe Jake and I were the first to start at around 4th or 5th grade. Will joined about a year later for the Hanover Recreation Department in Hanover, New Hampshire. And then we played Hanover Junior High Lacrosse, and then we played high school for Hanover Lacrosse, and now we play lacrosse for the University of Montana. Will and Jake, they're just great. I've been with them since day one and can't imagine being with anyone else. That would be kind of interesting if we had like these small cliques in our team, but really we just have one big one. And uh, it's good for, you know, if you know somebody from your hometown or whatever, it's easier to get into it, but it's not hard if you don't. Kids are kind of come in from all areas and uh, are able to just kind of mesh really well. We we used to be about 70, 30 east to west of the Mississippi, heavily on the east when I showed up. We're now like 50, 50 uh, east and west. And Unfortunately, one of the cuts that we have to do is financially. It's expensive to play for our team and you have to pay it, unfortunately, because we, we're not funded by the university. So. That's one thing I try not to make that a cutting factor that, you know, we try to have ways that people can individually raise money to cover their dues, but it's something that absolutely has to be done. And, you know, if they can't, then it's just tough. When I came out my first couple of years, we would have taken anybody. And now we're, we're really trying to make our, the, the team that's recognized by the U to be, follow a virtual varsity model, get as close as they can to varsity lacrosse. So. Those tryouts are going to be more and more intense. The recruiting process is going to get more and more intense every year, and thusly the likelihood of a walk-on type player is, you know, harder and harder, smaller window of that happening. And, you know, it's kind of just natural progression of that, but we try to come up with alternatives, practice teams or whatever we need to do, you know, to make sure people get to play. I don't want to turn anybody off from not picking up a stick. But that's pretty much the goal that we focus on right now is coming as close to a, varsity program as we can our model and if the time comes and the situation's right then we'd make the switch and go do that but you know we want to just compete at as high a level as we can